All right, everyone, we are back, and we are going to get into now impurities um, in Kroger Vink notation. So let's say I want to think about CaCl2 uh, and incorporating that type, that impurity into this crystal. So let's say whenever we're doing this, this is my impurity. And then this is going to be, uh, this is my host. When we're writing these reactions, the host goes on the top here. And this is going to be our impurity. Now in our notation that we've been that we developed last time, I am going to say this. This is going to be our impurity is going to be on our scripts and then goes to our blue is going to be our host. Our subscript. So, Let's go ahead and let's get this going. So for example, our impurity is CaCl2. Our host is K, oops, undo that, KCl. So we're gonna start to draw or write out our defects. So one way we can do this is I need to substitute Ca. I need to do a substitutional cation. So the material that I, if I'm substituting, I'm taking my impurity and the cation there is CA. And that will only go on the CA site for our host. So I am taking where should be a K and putting a CA on it. So already now that charge one goes to two. So this is gonna be a plus one. Now, the next step when I'm writing out or trying to determine the reaction, I know now I need something that's gonna be negative because I want to cancel out my charges first to get to electro neutral, then I'll do my mass balance. So I am going to do a vacancy and a vacancy can only occur in my host. So if I do a vacancy of CL, that's gonna be a positive. But if I do a vacancy of K, so let's put this here. K is one plus goes to zero, that will be minus. Now, I don't have to worry about my superscript balance. I'm charge balanced. So now the only thing I have to work, worry about is, am I mass balanced? Well, CA, CA, good. CL, I need two CLs. What about on my subscripts? Well, I have two Ks here but I could just put a two here to get my mass balance correct. And if I do a CL here, two Ks, two CLs, great. And then what's the charge on that reaction? Nothing. We got it. So this is a good way to write out this reaction, but we can write out another type of reaction potentially. So let's say instead, let's say I wanted a cation interstitial. So I took my cat out of my impurity, put it where an interstitial site should be. So now that charge is plus two. So if I have a plus, I know I need to create, I could create a vacancy in my K. So this is zero. This is, actually, excuse me, plus one to zero. This would be a minus one. Oops, oops, I need to change my color. minus one, and I could just put a two in front of that, and now I'm charge balanced. But what about mass? Well, I can see on my subscripts, I'm gonna to have to already put a two here. CA, I'm good, but I need my CLs, plus two CL, and then on my subscript, I don't have any CLs yet, so that's a two, remember, it multiplies the vacancy, everything, this and the K there. So I can put a CL here, and then my charge will be an X. Nice. What about something like here? ZRO2 impurities in yttrium oxide. Let's, let's go through something similar where charges are a little bit, just not difficult, more different. Um, so I have ZRO2 is my impurity into my host, which is yttrium oxide, Y2O3, yttrium, and so go ahead and draw. I'm going to put 
we've got here. So let's say I want to do a cation substitutional. So ZR, where my yttrium should be, my Y. So yttrium is what charge? So I have oxygen, two minus three of them, so that's six. So yttrium needs to be three plus. So yttrium is three plus, what about zirconium? That's going to be four plus. So Y to Z, that is going to be three to four. So this will also be a one plus right here. What about, excellent. Now, what else can we do? Well, I want, I, I need a negative, right? So I'm just going to stick with, I'm going to do a vacancy in, in what? Again, it has to be my host, vacancy in yttrium which is three plus, so it's gonna be three plus to zero, one, two, three. Actually, let me put it in one, two, three. And, well, I'm not charge balanced, but I can do that just by doing three right here. So, I have got my three, three zirconium right here. What am I gonna do now? I'm charge balanced. But now I'm not, ma oh, now I'm mass balanced, right? I put three in front, so three ZRs, good. I need to do my oxygens. So let's do plus, and then I'm just gonna keep the oxygen. Oxygens, I have six of them, right? Six oxygens. What about below? So now I have three yttrium, four yttrium, so I need to do two here, good. So now I've got four yttrium, and then I need to do my oxygen here, and my charge, voila. Excellent. And you can look at some of the other examples too. Um, we did the substitutional if you do zirconium in the interstitial as well. And there's going to be lots, 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 lots more in your problem set. Um, so you can always go through this framework. And again, just keep working through those defect reactions. And next time, we'll see you for 1D defects. See you next time. Bye.